Hey Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so you already know what it is, Bulls. Getting ready to give you your energy update. Happy Saturday to you guys. Um, hope your day is going pretty well. However, I look, I'm coming off the bank. You know what I'm saying? Get ready, drop these messages. However, I do feel as though you could be triggered by something. Um, you got to make some type of self-honoring choice for yourself. And it could be making you out of balance, okay? So we're going to discuss that just a little bit, see what Spirit has to say about it on top of that. Um, and see if I can get you some advice today, okay? Now, don't forget, flip your roles, take what you need, leave what you don't need, use the spirit of discernment, don't force a message to fit. And uh, of course, um, remember you're on different timelines. I could be speaking of past, present, or future energies. And most definitely, if you're triggered by something I say, face your mirror, not my comment section. You already know how this go, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button, the thanks button if you're feeling generous, the subscribe button if you're feeling my vibe. And special shout out to my Virgo members, Divine Feminine members, and Soul Drop members. Don't forget that your energy does come through my readings off the back, okay? Um, that's uh, payback. <laughs> that's, that's my contribution back to you guys um, for being a part or being a member of the Oracle Goddess channel. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. So let's dive right on in to this reading. Now, I'm going to say my intentions before I get started, just to get the energy to flow through. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up and showing out. Show me what I need to see. Protect us as we go through these portals to commune with you. And so it is. And what I say, indecision card comes out. You're stuck at a, a crossroads right now. Man holding a coin. You value this person. Okay, this could be you. But however it is, it's like you're stuck at a crossroads now. Patience card comes out. Okay. So you basically have like this peaceful presence that's around you. I feel like also now you have let go of the need um, or desperation here to be with this person in whatever dynamic it is now. Because of something that may have transpired. It's also what I'm hearing. So I'm going to pull more tarot. Something that you know now that it's hard for you to turn back. Because of what you know. And especially how you know this person feels. And um, yeah, now you have to make a, de a decision. Like should I continue to move forward with this situation? Or should I go on a path or a journey on my own? Right? So tell me about this indecision card. Or the situation, whatever, right? Yeah, look at that. The fool card comes out in the reverse. So this person here, your person may have been kind of reckless here with something. They were reckless, something they did, okay? And again, you know, this could be a work situation. I don't know. You know, get in where you fit in with it. But um, however, this person here did something very thoughtless, um, operating as the fool, right? Reverse. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups reversed. So something happened with a third party type situation. And now it's putting you in this energy here where you have to go in your Queen of Swords energy. It's like you have to set a healthy boundary for yourself. And now I see here um, that's what you've been doing. So this person may be reaching out to you, maybe still kind of communicating with you. Um, but, you're you know, you're still letting them come in. But you are definitely speaking your mind. I can see that. Just very guarded. I feel like a guarded energy from you. Okay. They betray they either betrayed you or were getting ready to when you found out before it could happen. But because of this, it's it's triggering um some old wounds, is how I'm hearing it. It's like some childhood uh trauma that you may have, okay. And with this, you, you, you kind of are in this energy here now where it's just like, I, I, I might need to, you know, be on my own, right? Yeah, judgment card comes in the reverse. You have some self-doubt, okay? You're not clear really on 
what to do with this. I don't want to say that you're refusing to make a decision. It's like you're kind of like taking a step back for a moment, okay? So some clarity is going to come to you. Four cups comes in the reverse. So you're being asked to kind of be patient right now because divine timing is at play. Yeah, so that you can get this clarity here, okay? Um, yeah, because the temperance card is right next to it. Yeah, this is happening right now. Like, you're in this space where you have to gain back your strength. It's like get that internal balance going. Um, continue to heal. However, you may want to do something like get creative. Maybe it could be art. You know, do some type of art, um, coloring, painting, or something that can cause you to tap into your creative energy. That's going to help balance you out. Okay. Um, but that's what it, it seems to be right now. And it's like about this decision you have to make. Okay. Now, tell me about this man holding a coin. Knight of Swords reverse. Yep. So whatever they did, they could have been very hostile or aggressive. Um, could have got caught up in some conflict. Like, I don't feel like this is towards you. I feel like this is towards a third party. Okay. They were reckless, you know, air sign energy. Fire sign energy on the board too as well. But um, here with the sun card coming out, again, it's like, that's like the, that's right there is just saying, hey, regardless, you're getting your fresh start. This is the birth of everything new, okay, that is happening in your life right now. Like you're getting, or you are opening up a new chapter in your book, okay? So show me what I need to see. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands comes out in the Seven of Cups, but it's in the reverse. But you're burdened. You're burdened by this, okay? Because of the simple fact, again, whatever this person did, they were in the Knight of Swords reverse energy. They were the full reverse, okay? They were reckless, very impulsive, okay? And you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. You want to make sure that... You are, you know, really being realistic about this, but you're not happy. You're not satisfied. You're dissatisfied and you're very disappointed, but disappointed because of the simple fact that um, some things are being delayed. Well, you feel like that because I feel like you want to move forward with this particular person. But whatever they did within that third party type situation has is making you feel blocked you may have had some yeah hopeless the star card came out reverse like you may have had some type of um expectation you know page of pinnacles and now you feel hopeless about that like will i be able to you know have this new beginning or this new start right or will i be able to have this new opportunity whatever it may be okay because of this so what is some um, let me pull from kipper Name female in the journey card, y'all. So now you have to make a decision if you're gonna move on, basically, or if you're gonna take a journey, if you're gonna move to another location, right? You make up you could be relocating. Um yeah. Let me see if I can pull another card. Yeah, something's ending. It's like this is a, a end of a cycle here, but something is definitely ending. The bad health card came out, but it's in a reverse position. The imprisonment card came out, but it's in a reverse position as well. Okay, so this situation here, definitely somebody could be dealing with some mental health issues. Stuck in their head. But house card comes out. Somebody could have went through a situation where they've been hospitalized or had to, you know, go through some type of surgery or something um, and going through recovery right now. Okay. I just heard somebody may be having issues with mice. 
it's like all of these issues or whatever that you could be having and maybe having you stuck in your head you definitely are going to recover and be free from this okay um but you gotta now make some type of choice or, or something here so we're going to focus on that choice the house card comes out okay so again you could be it could be something dealing with real estate it could be something dealing with you moving okay or building some type of foundation for yourself or even your own home that you're in now okay the courtship card comes out but it's in the reverse position so you definitely could have been you know linking with this person dating this person or friends with this person um in a situation with this person okay so tell me about the main female up uh, main female is stuck so whoever's playing the feminine role of my collective here um you're holding on to something doesn't make you feel secure definitely you may be trying to control um you may be trying to control something here too and i feel like it's it's more about you like you are doing this to control you it's like now let me protect myself let me you know control the outcome of this by kind of like i feel like you could be going in hermit mode you know definitely in your head um, stepping back, right? Things like that. Cause I got the moon card coming out as well. So, um, yeah, you're dealing with some type of inner shadows right now. Um, most definitely is something here. It's definitely something unseen is how I'm seeing it. Okay. So what's unseen could be dealing with some type of anxiety or something here, or, or, or something is being triggered within your subconscious mind. Um, and I feel like, yeah, Ace of Swords comes out. And that's all about you gaining some type of clarity, okay? Because you did, you gained some type of clarity here over everything. And it got you in your head. It's something you definitely couldn't see coming. You didn't see it coming. And it was destructive or, or chaotic or something here, okay? Well, short-lived. It was like... What y'all had going on for a second was just like everything and it was short-lived, okay? You thought you could have been getting your wish fulfillment and then boom, interference, right? You thought the decision was made to a sword in reverse and guess what? Boom, more adversity. More conflict. And now you may just be losing your energy. You may be tired, you know? You just may be just ready to kind of give up on this at this point. So, um... Tell me about the journey card. Yeah, four pinnacles. You holding on definitely really, really tight here. Temperance card comes out. So in the four cups, again, in the reverse position. So you're going to get some type of clarity. And then on top of this, you know, it's about you choosing your own happiness at the end of the day. But some things are going to be revealed to you. Whatever those tower moments brought Whatever the tower moments brought to you is basically is bringing you about a new beginning is how I'm hearing it. And a shift in perspective too. So remember that. Tell me about the bad health card reverse. Nine of materials, nine of pentacles, and a muse of inspiration. Okay, so let me look up this muse real quick, y'all, because I don't know which one that is. But the nine of pentacles basically speaks about your self sufficiency and things like that, um, your confidence, overcoming certain challenges and stuff. Now, with this muse of inspiration, I think I'm almost there. It's talking about success, um, thinking big. Ability to bring moving parts together into one larger story. Remaining inspired, okay? Making sure you don't create unrealistic expectations. So what they want you to know is that 
because the bad, like I said, is in the reverse. The bad health card is in the reverse. So you definitely could have been going through something. Anxiety, depression, um, not getting out of the bed, you know, some type of mental health type issue is what I'm seeing. But it says expect to be initiated in ways you can't yet imagine. Fully captivated by ideas and propelled by enthusiastic ambition. The muse offers, to, offers fire to brand the edges of your experience, embracing excitement to ignite the wisdom in your heart. She asks you to enlist the help of others along the way, and she shares her power to turn to ash that which has been anchoring you. Remember that your warm cocoon of confidence and determination will light up your heart with belief and inspiration. It will sing into being a phoenix energy that will allow you to rise from the depth of anything that has been put in your path. With butterfly heart flutters and breath to deliver life, it is time to set your world aglow. Vision and the king will be your guides. It's time to find purposeful success and take inspired actions as you fall in love with your goals. Okay. So you want to enlist people. So you want, you know, your friends, things like that. People who are on the same journey as you. Um, people who are like-minded, right, to help you during this period, okay? So lean on your support system to help you get through this. But however, like it says, it's like you're going to be a phoenix. You're going to be rising from these ashes that are anchoring you, okay? Um, but expect to be initiated in a way you just can't imagine just yet, okay? <laughs> You'd be like, what? <laughs> what is happening, right? Because we're at a, after we go through these type of things, for it doesn't allow us to see exactly the whole picture until after we get to that experience, and then it starts to become clear. They just are saying, just know that you're gonna get the clarity that you need. Okay, tell me about the house card. Yep, the judgment card comes in a reverse, so you could be having some type of self doubt here too, or or you're not clear in your judgment here when it comes to your home or, or um, how to bring balance to it or uh, or something here, okay? So I do see that you are trying to make a judgment call about it, but you're just not sure how to go about doing it. The Ten of Wands comes out, okay? So that's also burdening you. A lot of responsibility is how I'm seeing it. It's excessive responsibility, okay? But your load is temporary, all right? So remember that. Yeah, Seven of Wands comes out, so there's some conflict, some type of um, some type of conflict again. It's, it's some challenges. Tell me more about this Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. Stay your ground, okay? Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Stay your ground, all right. Whatever's coming up against you, whatever that opposition may be, you get you get ready to be put in a position here where you are able to do what you need to do. All right, because the Queen of Pentacles is about is about her business, basically, or his. Right, flip your roles. Okay, so you may be definitely very pragmatic, very resourceful, a go getter, all that energy. Okay, and because of that, like you're gonna put yourself in a favor favorable position. So. Keep standing your ground here, okay? Four of Pentacles. When it comes to your money, you know, um, you're going to possess that fortune most definitely. Because it's like you may feel like, yeah, you may feel like you're not secure in that way, in that way okay? But something is coming. Or you may feel very unstable in your money and things like that, Okay? And especially when it comes to you taking care of your home and however dynamic that is. All right. So, but you can't see that either. You may not even see it. Five of Cups is in a reverse upright position. Yeah, because this is something here you may feel like you're going to lose or you're going to hit rock bottom or something here. Okay. Um, tell me about the unseen. What is unseen? What is it Virgo not seen? Yeah, the judgment is in a reverse position. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse position. It's like you're not seeing that you're already getting um, a rebirth. Like you're already getting the epiphanies, okay? Some of you may be working too hard or you're not, you know, you may be burnt out in some kind of way here or unfocused. And it's making it hard for you to make that judgment call, to make that decision. And you're getting help with that decision, okay? But you're not seeing that you're getting it. 
definitely gird and energy ace of swords comes out all right so again it's it's showing you that you're going to get the victory when you make the decision this person was reckless right with the fool card in the reverse they were too hasty with something okay um whatever they did they did in the ace of swords reverse energy basically a lot of intense negativity around this situation it's almost like they did some toxic some something something definitely toxic sparked off they made some type of wrong decision okay hangman comes out and that puts you what this is a part of your spiritual growth okay so you're gonna get you're gonna get a prophecy here so Definitely, again, your trust is being um, tested, but this is all about you and your your perspective here. Yep, five of wands comes out reverse, and the king of king of swords comes out in the upright position. So, whatever is happening is an opportunity that's coming through. Okay, um, I feel like here that this person is cutting out some people, like they're operating in that king of swords energy, like very disciplined right now um very truthful okay they're coming across really truthful they're cutting some people off so you're in a competitive environment so what whoever it's like this situation helped them to see who's in it for the right reasons and who's in it for the wrong reasons and they see you in it for the right reasons so they're getting ready to take some type of action or they are already doing it and they're cutting off the people who is causing the conflict in in um their lives okay the people who are competing for position in their lives okay so they're going into this new um cycle of course but anything that's not stable they want change is how i'm hearing it okay so that's why i'm saying it's like you you are in a more favorable position right now even though you can't see it 21 22 on the timer tell me about the courtship card Yep, Empress in the reverse, okay? So, that courtship card was in a reverse position. This um, person in your life could have been either connecting with someone, maybe a child's mother or a mother figure or an ex or something. Um, could have been something about them dealing with them in some kind of way, okay? Nine of Swords comes out and the Ten of Wands is here. I feel like in some way it's creating a lot of anxiety for someone. It's like this person in your life, I feel like they're blaming themselves. Okay, so they're losing some type of sleep. Most definitely over this situation, over this person, this third party situation. And they're seeing how they have not gotten any results. And they've been, you know, putting into this person or courting them in some kind of way or trying to. They may was going to really try to take them out or do something with them. I don't know. Or connect in some kind of way, um, you know, to establish some things or, or what. I'm not sure in the nature of it. But, however, here, it created this massive burden. And so, it's like, I see now that this person in your life is seeing like, okay, this is really too big of a burden and they're reassessing their priorities okay they're reassessing their priorities the people that are in their life um and who shouldn't be okay with that king of swords energy so they're trying to figure out how to definitely overcome this but however like i said because of whatever wrong decisions they made is now putting you in a position where you have to make a self-honoring choice for yourself right and I just seen the Queen of Swords reverse. So this is all, like, all of it seems to have backfired, basically, is how I'm seeing it. Because the Queen of Swords reverse can be very, very um, argumentative. Like, their mouth is just reckless. Let's just say they reckless, okay? They don't have no healthy boundaries. They overstep boundaries. You know, that this is a, that's a very, very, yeah. I ain't going to talk about this person. But all it did was really create more um wounds deeper wounds on top of that okay but what i feel like here i don't know if i showed y'all but with the five of cups in reverse next to the ace of cups next to the eight of cups what i feel like here is that it put your person in a state of acceptance and they're saying that they got to actively actively deal with this pain or these deep wounds okay so that they can heal and recover to be able to offer you this full cup of love 
So they're seeing this whole situation. Like I feel like the universe orchestrated this basically to awaken this person so that they can really, really see that you are the hidden blessing all along. Okay. Cause they couldn't see you. I did that for Virgo. I did a reading for that. Um, definitely check that out. I believe it was yesterday. It could have been. You would have overlooked blessing, Virgo. You would have overlooked blessing, so they can see that now. So now they they know that they have to actively deal with their themselves, their losses, whatever they're mourning over, and able. I mean, in order to offer you this new beginning, right? To have this cup overflowing with love that's all yours. It ain't going to seven different people, right? It ain't going to you and a third party. However, eight of cups. So they're now realizing they gotta walk away from those empty cups. Walk away from the illusions, the abandonment issues, okay? This person could have several people that they're walking away or several people that they're um, cutting out of this situation, okay? So in order to come your way, So 25, 20, 51, so on my timer. So what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to see if I can pull one more card for you guys and I'm going to let you go because this phone does not hold that much space. So let me see. Abundance. Okay. So keep a positive mindset. All right. You're going to manifest exactly what you want. But it's going to require you to stay positive here because the abundance is coming in for you. Like I said, all of this had to go the way that it has gone in order for you to get exactly what you've been praying for. Okay, so the towers are falling in um, your life, this person's life, in order to again get to this new beginning. For this person to get transformed into a new person so that they can release all the unhealthy attachments. Um in all so when it comes to virgo making their decision you're ascending that's all you need to know you're transcending these obstacles you're learning you're expanding you're in this new phase and you're preparing for union okay so you may feel like you're stuck at the crossroads right now because you feel like hey if i make this choice it may be the wrong choice and it's going to stop you from ascending right but you are you feel stabbed in the back okay and the X card is there as well. So, but this is about you stopping certain patterns and it's about this person stopping patterns on top of that, okay? So you could be dealing with a twin flame um, on top of that. But however, yep, the snake, karmic relationships is also what I've seen, all right? So it's about this masculine cutting out these karmic relationships. So they are going to chase you. Okay, because I do definitely feel like you're in this not today type energy. I'm not making a decision. Uh, you're just kind of like standing there stuck at the crossroads, okay? Um, and, and really don't know. But however, you are ascending. Continue to focus on your self-love, your self-care, your shadow work, all of that, your self-appreciation. And again, like I said earlier in the reading, connect with your tribe, okay? This is a time for you to converse with some other people, um, just to really see, you know, how you're going on your journey, what they're doing. Uh, if you look, got other twin flames in your energy, definitely connect with them. If you need to get a reading, connect with me, you know, um, as well. So you can navigate through this part of your story. But when it comes down to this decision, again, I'm hearing it's up to you. There's no right or wrong. Okay. All right. Peace.